Good morning everyone. Today we are here to see the change in size of the image formed due to a convex lens. And for this simple setup, we need a candle which we will be using as an object. We have a convex lens. I have used this magnifying glass because magnifying glass also consists a convex lens and this white sheet as a screen. One matchbox and a scale and this inch tape I have fixed on this table so that if there is a change in the distance between the object and the lens and lens and the screen I would be able to measure the change if I wish to. Now let's lit the candle so that we can see the image formed on the screen. For more clarity, what we have done, we have turned off the lights and now you can see this image on the screen. This image on the screen is of the candle flame. Do you see? It is inverted and you can see that it is smaller than the actual size which was initially. If I use a scale, I can measure the length of this image and that is 1.5 centimeter. And here when I measure the size of the object, it is nearly 2 cm. So it is slightly diminished. At this position, the object and the image are nearly of the same size. In this case, when I bring it very, very close, you can see this is just a blob of light. No image is formed. The image is not formed here because the image formed is virtual. See, this is a screen. And the image in the previous cases was formed on the screen which we could touch, we could, which we could measure. And these images were the real images. In this case, this is not an image. This is just a blob of light because this lens is a transparent medium and it will allow the light to pass. So this is the, just a light which is passing but it is not the image formed. When I bring it away, Again, the image is formed and now you see it is even bigger. When I bring it here, it is very big. Can you see the size? It is, if I measure using a scale, it is nearly 7 centimeters. So it is increased. So this is highly enlarged. If I take it even farther here, do you see the change in the size? It is getting bigger. My table has a limited length, but yes, if we further change, we can see it is very, very big. Can you see the change in the size? It is magically increased. And see the distance between the lens and the object. It is very close. So when the object is close, it is bigger. And if I bring it in the air here, you see it is immensely increased. Just focus at the image. So the simple activity tells us that when we change the position of the object on the screen with respect to the lens, different size of the images are formed. Here, at this position, the object and image are nearly equal. Let's recapitulate what we have understood. Number one, when the object, the candle and the lens are placed at this distance, which is equal to this distance, image and the lens. The image size is same. It is real, inverted and formed at the center of curvature, double of the focal length. Number two, when we bring the lens very close to the object, here even if we change the distance of the object, the image is not at all formed because this distance is less than the focal length. And the image formed will be virtual, which cannot be obtained on the screen. On the other hand, if I increase the distance, you can see that image has started forming. The image is formed. When I bring it here, see the distance between the lens and the candle, which is smaller. So when the object is close to the lens, the image formed is enlarged. If I bring it, if the distance is reduced, the image formed is even clearer. So we can see that the image size and position changes when we change the distance between object and image. Thanks for watching.